Hey everyone, welcome. So glad you're here. Welcome to Love Vibe TV. I am your favorite unicorn wrangling love coach helping you consciously create the greatest life you can imagine, including calling in a beloved relationship, but also including everything else because it is all the same. <laughs> it's all relationship. It's all like you being in your love vibe. So I want to help you manifest faster. I want to help you consciously know that you are an empowered person and that you are creating your reality. And today I'm going to share with you a really fun topic, which let me put up the little dually for this one. And we're talking about creating more ease with manifesting because a lot of people get this idea that when you have a vision, so let's use relationship because hello, that's important. Did I say I'm Reverend Lunch Lady? Hi, I'm Reverend Lunch Lady. I'm so glad you're here. Um, when you're manifesting and you are, uh, you have a vision, let's say you want to call in a beloved and it's meaningful to you, right? Calling in a beloved, wow, that's big. You know, maybe maybe manifesting a cup of coffee or manifesting a friend calling. You've probably had many of those occasions where you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty easy. Or, you know, going to a store and they have exactly what you want, that kind of stuff. And yet the beloved, the million dollars, the dream job, those kinds of things seem like, well, those, that's going to require a lot more effort. Here's the secret. It doesn't. So this is an opportunity in this class. I want to give you some serious tips about how you can be with all this so that it's easier. A lot of times manifestation kind of looks like this. Oh, like, get it, get it, get it. I better not do it wrong. Oh my gosh. I wasn't thinking about it. Oh, I thought a negative thought. Oh my gosh, it's not working. So that's not relaxing at all. And actually, we're only going to be able to receive from a relaxed place. That's why I call this Love Vibe TV because everyone knows that when you're giddy in love, when things are working out and you're just, you know, light on your feet and so happy in your life that all sorts of opportunities show up, right? It just rains cats and dogs, right? That's what I think of when I think of the times that I've been so giddy beginning of a relationship. And then all of a sudden, all these other people think I am so attractive. And it really is because I have my love vibes turned on. And that's something you get to choose and nurture within yourself every day. If your love vibes aren't turned on, it's probably because you've bought into some fears or lies or scarcity or not good enough, or so you're too much, or it's not going to work out, like all of that kind of stuff. So it's really key that we address this today because I don't want any of you making up a story that you can't have this or do this or you tried it before and it didn't work because you're just doing this one thing that you don't need to do. So what is that thing? It is when we are efforting well, first, it's when we're making whatever it is so significant, like when we're making it like, oh, well, that's a hard thing to manifest. Oh, finding love. I've never had it before. So that's it's just going to take a lot more energy. That's going to be a lot harder. Like when you have that behind a creation, it's almost like it pushes it away. It's like, oh, that's so intense. And it's, there's like this intensity that pushes it away. It's like when someone's super needy and clingy and like, hang out with me, hang out with me, hang out with me. Do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me? It's like, whoever that person is, you're not going to like them because it's that whole energy is annoying, right? It's just repelling. Um, and I know sometimes when I get really excited, I can I can be more like a feral golden retriever puppy and like, what? Um, and, and so I'm kind of trying to be aware of that and I'm choosing to be, and what else is possible here? So anyway, so when you have those love vibes on, then 
that's doing a lot of it for you. So what do you need to do then? So what is the actual thing that you are, let's say, doing? What are you persisting with? So I like the word persist. It's like you want to persist in creating your life consciously. That means more than anything, and this is where people kind of misidentify, persisting is the thing that reminds us that we don't have to look at our history to decide what we can have. We're not looking out at the 3D and saying, well, he's not here yet, so obviously I guess I'm not meant for that. You're not looking at what's here now as the validation. You're actually coming inward. You're connecting to your love vibes. You're connecting to that desire. The desire is what's fueled by that. The desire is what is, you know, divinely given. That's the sort of whisper from the cosmos of your destiny. That's when you know that that is for you because there's like this sweetness, this lightness, this excitement, this anticipation, this like yes to it that is not usually partnered with some of the things that come with like, well, you didn't do it before or, well, it hasn't worked for you up until now. And why do you think it's going to happen for you? Like you've never blah, 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 all the like heavy stuff and all of the the patterns that you may have been practicing for a while and maybe complaining or comparing or cutting yourself down or people pleasing, those kinds of things that erode our, uh, our confidence and our self-concept. So who you are is brilliant. Who you are is love. Who you are is a being that if you have the desire to share life with someone that that is that person is out there period like there's no no more questions needed after that it's that is done that is done there's no separation you have the awareness you have the awareness of the desire that is the promise so the persistence with it comes more with how you continue to bring yourself back to the home center space of that desire. You're not looking for it as um, proof when you're starting to create. It will show up. Yes, it absolutely will. But if you're going into doubt, if you're going into fear, if you're going into what the F universe, like in resentment against the universe, or well, everyone else has it and I don't like the hopelessness or the victim mentality or the, yeah, the anger, the, um, the, the like constantly like downplaying the desire. So sometimes I call it bargain branding. When you bargain brand your relationship, it's like you have this awareness of this desire, but then you let your ego and your mind come in and your inner critics come in and say, well, you know, there's no way you're going to get that. So you're probably going to have to settle for this. And there's no way you're going to get that. So you better tolerate this. Well, don't you think you're going to have that? So you better just, you know, accept a lot more flaws or whatever that then are not even your relationship anymore. So no wonder they're not fulfilling. Like how many of us have had those relationships that weren't fulfilling because we were like, well, I probably can't get better. Or is there anyone else? Or I probably, it's probably better to just have a relationship than to not have anything. And then like, that's all the bargain brand relationship. That's not super loved. Super loved is about knowing who you are, honoring your desires, honoring the brilliance and the unicorn being that you be and moving from there. So persisting is the act of continuously saying, no, I'm not not good enough. I'm not buying that voice. I know what that voice is. And sometimes it's helpful to name those voices. Is there 
a voice that says not good enough? Is there a victim voice? Is there a hopeless one within there? Is there a really angry one in there? And is there voices of maybe a mom or a grandparent or someone saying, well, you know, girls like you don't ever get rich guys or whatever message you might have gotten in the past that's not actually yours. It's just somebody else's projection and expectation. So we can do a little clearing right now. So all of the old stories, all of the lies and all of the limitations and all of the projections and all the expectations of society and family and all the things that you might have bought as what me what it means for you to have love or not have love will you please destroy and uncreate that by saying yes out loud and say it really firmly like yes yes so your body hears it. So your body hears, you know what? We are not doing that anymore. No, 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 no. My mentor Sark taught me that. It's like, no, you hear the inner critics and you just go, no. Basically cut off that energy. And when you do that, you, your body has the sensory experience of that. It's like a hard line. And sometimes it's helpful to shake your body or move to a different place and go, no, I'm not doing that right now. And then then reconnecting. What do you know about your desire? Yes, it's here. It's done. Do I have the awareness? Yes. You know, is it a desire? Yes. So it's my destiny. It's a promise. So that's the goal. That's how you relax. Because ultimately, you're letting go of, I have to focus on my beloved all the time. Oh, I have to know exactly what, I have to do it right. I have to be really positive. And yeah, those things, you know, what your inner world is radiating out is, you know, what you're going to see in the world. So um, certainly persisting will pay off because the persisting and the total commitment to not buying the stories and the the mean voices in your head is the change. And I know it's hard because those voices that have been around for a while are very seductive. And that the seductive nature of them can swoop you away. I mean, I've been doing this work for a really long time and, you know, I'm just noticing new levels of breakthroughs that I've been having with my creation. And what I know now is that you can create things just like that, that there really isn't this, oh, because it's this, it's going to have to take a long time. You don't have to have that. So letting go of the significance of the the manifestation, like everything can be equal, a penny on the ground to a million dollar paycheck. Like, honestly, I know a lot of you are like, yeah, right. Well, persist right now and just go, I'm going to suspend my disbelief. That actually sounds kind of fun. I'm going to try that on. I invite you to just try this on. Can you do a no um, inner critic, no judgment, no limitation diet where you Take care of your mind. It's a mental diet. It's a mental diet. That's what Neville Goddard calls it. He's an amazing teacher of consciousness and the law of assumption. He calls it a mental diet where you, the persisting is keeping that space in between your ears, that energetic space of focus in a place that is aligned with your truth, which is you are a divine infinite, brilliant being. You're creating your reality. You're creating your future. What do you know about it? Look at your heart and go, oh yeah, it's going to be really fun to have a person. I know that. So he's already here or she's already here on the planet. I'm aware of it. They're here. It's already here. So being able to go, well, that's exciting and relax, then do fun things. Then 
you know, give yourself a chance to let go of that part and commit to keeping the space in your love vibe. So committing to that, which is amazing. And um, it's just a more fun way to live, right? So I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope that was helpful. Please do comment. Please share this with your unicorn friends. I mean, this Unicorn Pasture or Super Love Worldwide Headquarters is open to all the brilliant women on the planet who want to create more love, to create more magic, to create more miracles, to receive more money and all of it. So I am on your team and excited to hear what you're creating and keep watching. Watch this over and over again because every time you do, I already... I already wired this video so that every time you listen to it, you'll get something new. And sometimes it takes watching something 25 times, even listening to it right before you go to sleep, getting these teachings into your cells. And then your body starts doing something different. And when it does something different, you see different things in the world. And that's what's so amazing. And then you get to live your super love life now. So just be it now. Be in the love vibes. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.